the humble wheelie and the humble manual. Two tricks that can seem a bit daunting when you're trying to learn them, and there are some common and, what should we say, less common mistakes. And today we're going to look at those and hopefully get you wheeling and manualing way better. So as I said, there are many reasons, sadly, why you might not be getting your manuals or wheelies dialed. But let's just clarify which one is which. The manual is picking the front wheel up without pedaling. The wheelie is picking the front wheel up whilst pedaling. Here's where it may be going wrong. Lack of practice or practice makes perfect. Yep, it's the age old adage and it works with almost every mountain bike skill and these in particular. You've got to put the time in if you want to get it dialed. And that is so true when it comes to this. There's so many intricacies in manuals and wheelies that repetition and doing it a lot is really going to pay dividends here. More attempts, the better. Next up, poor technique. Now we've done a ton of videos teaching you how to manual and how to wheelie here on GMBN and they're linked in the description down below. So go check that out. But if you start off without knowing really what to do, you're gonna develop bad habits and poor technique and then you're gonna find life even harder no matter how much you practice. If you're just not quite doing it right, you're never gonna do it right. Balance. Manuals and wheelies require an insane amount of balance and if you haven't got that balance point right, well then you're never gonna be able to initiate either one correctly. It's all about shifting that balance or that weight back over the rear wheel. If you're not doing that, you're gonna find it really hard to get the front end up, regardless of which one you're trying to do. So make sure you focus on, as soon as you try to pick the front up, your body weight is being shifted rearwards over the rear axle. Fear of falling or commitment is next on my list. So you gotta to commit to these things. Now, fear of falling and commitment kind of coincide with that looping out effect. Looping out being when you just fall backwards off the bike. So what I would recommend is if you're learning, if you're very new to it, don't learn on a gravel path like this. It's not ideal. If you do loop out and you fall off and you put your hands down or something, it's gonna hurt, it's solid. Find a nice grassy field, a nice soft place to that you can have a, a safe go at it. And that way it's gonna reduce that element of fear and commitment or lack of commitment when it comes to it. Oh my God, this one is more wheelie focused. Oh my gosh, it's gearing. A lot of people are gonna try and wheelie in the wrong gear. So either way too hard or way too easy. And the downside to this, I was trying to wheelie there in what's that? 10th gear, I think. And the problem is, unless you've got legs like Arnie on you or something, it's really hard to get the power down and keep it down to keep a nice smooth wheelie going. The opposite end of the scale, if you're trying to do a wheelie in first or second, it'll pick up real nice and easily, but then you're gonna be spinning like an absolute madman. You're gonna be doing a billion RPM. Try and find a nice sort of neutral-ish kind of gear. So what I would say is around the fourth or fifth mark, that's gonna be easy enough to pick the front end up. And remember, you're powering on a wheelie, so once you start pedaling, you're gonna get a little bit quicker. Bear in mind, you can feather the brakes, obviously, control that speed, but that fourth or fifth gear is just gonna be able to contain and maintain that nice smooth wheelie off. Not 10th. These things here are so important on wheelies and manuals. The front one, not so much. Now there's a bit of mixed feeling out there. Some people will lock up the front brake, myself included, when I'm doing a wheelie or a manual, so that front wheel's not spinning. Others will argue that actually the front wheel spinning will help control or keep the front end up. It's kind of a personal preference thing, I think. The back brake is where it's at. You really need to master the control of that and feathering it. So just using it ever so lightly. And what you're doing is essentially, if you ever feel like you're gonna topple out the back, go out the back door, you'll dab that back brake and it's just gonna bring the front down. Too hard on that back brake and you're just gonna slam the front end down. Always good if you do want a sort of safety net, if you like, but it's feathering it. So it's that combination of just, as you feel like you're going back, just slightly dabbing the back brake just to, bring the front end down a touch. That's what's gonna take a long time and that's where the practice comes in. Okay, so there we go then. Those are some common kind of beginner, should we say, mistakes and errors that are made when wheeling or manualing. Hopefully they've helped maybe highlight a few of the things you might be doing and uh, well, you can correct it. Let me know how you get on in the comments down below. Are there any other skills you'd like me to break down or maybe try and point out some of the uh, the things that we could all do better because even I can do some things better, that's for sure. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.